Hey everyone, uh, I've uploaded an activity onto Canvas called Bags and Coins, and I think uh, the problems on that activity and, and what we'll be going over in this video uh, serve as a good uh, mathematical analogy um, to, to one of the main topics I want to talk about in the next, in the next video as well. Um, so let's, uh, let's go over a few examples of, of these problems. So in each of these problems, I'm, you know, we're going to look at a, a balance beam and, and on this balance beam, they're going to be some bags and, and coins on either side of the, uh, these balance beams. And, and these bags will be filled with coins. And so in each bag on a balance beam, uh, they'll, they'll, each bag will have the same number of coins just to make this a little bit clearer. Um, and, and our goal is to, to find the number of coins in, in each bag. And so, you know, maybe let's go through a few, a few nice examples. And so, you know, forgive me for my drawing, but I just want to do some, some basic sketches. So let's say we've got a balance beam here. And, and on one side of the balance beam, I've got a bag of coins. And on the other side of the balance beam, I've got three, three coins. And then let's imagine that the bag uh, the weight of the bag is, is really just negligible and, and, and doesn't really contribute all that much weight. Um, so how many coins are going to be in this bag if this balance beam is balanced? Well, this only works out if, if there are three coins in the bag. Okay, and then, so what if we look at another example where we've got a balance beam here and here instead of uh, one bag and three coins we have we have uh, two bags on one side and three coins and, and one bag and six coins on the other side and then they're all, you know the balance on this balance beam um, we're assuming we're starting off balance so so their weight uh, the weight is the same on both sides uh, so just pause the video and, and, and think to yourself, you know, how can you determine how much, uh, how many coins are in each bag? So, so we can really use this idea that that we're 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 looking at a balance beam, right? Uh, if I look at the left side and I look at the right side, there, there's some things in common here, and and so I can imagine lifting off one coin from both sides of the balance beam, and, and our balance beam would still be balanced, right? We would still have the same weight on both sides of this balance beam, and so I could I could do that again, and I can do that one more time, and remove all that's in common between you know, in terms of coins between the two sides of the balance beam. And here, because we we're assuming that each bag has the same number of coins on that balance beam, uh, in fact, we can we can do the same thing with the bags. Right, the, this bag ought to weigh the same as the other one. On, or the, the other one on the other side of the balance beam, and I can imagine taking them off. Right? And so what would we be left with? Well, we're really just saying uh, you know, this, this, this statement here, this, this balance beam picture, it's really just saying that that one bag weighs the same as three coins. And we can accomplish seeing this by, by removing a bunch of things in common and, and really making this picture into a simpler one. So here again we, we run this, into the scenario that there are three coins uh, in, in each bag. Okay, so let's do, let's do two more examples. Got a balance beam here with four bags and two coins on one side, and then three bags and seven coins on the other. And again, our balance beam is balanced. Um, and here, let me put up the the next example as well. And ask you to, to pause the video and try to figure out how many coins are in each bag. So 
So in this next, next example, there's four bags of coins on one side and 24 coins on the other. Let's pause the video and see if you could come up with a number of coins in each bag. Okay, so if we do the same idea, we look at this balance beam and we know that we can take off the same amount from both sides and still be left with a balanced beam. Uh, well, I can, I can take off three bags from one side and three bags from the, the other. And if it started balanced, then it, it's still, it must still be balanced. We could take off two coins from each side and we're really left with one bag full of coins on one side. And how many is that? That's five coins on the other. Five coins in each bag. And then in the second example, in the, this last example, um, you know, there's, there's nothing in common between the two sides. I can't remove anything. But if these two are balanced, then, then I know that, that one fourth of the weight on the left side better be the same as one fourth of the weight on the right. And I look at this group of 24 coins, well, one fourth of 24 is six. So one fourth of the weight on the right. So in, in some sense, we divided both sides by by four, and we can see that right here uh, there really ought to be six coins in each bag. All of the bags have the same number of coins. Okay, so uh, so these are you know just a few examples um, to to get you going. Uh, let me ask you to take a step away from this video and, and, and take a look at the activity and see uh, how many uh, problems you can get through using this idea of, of a balance beam and, and removing things from both sides fairly. Um, and so in the, the latter part of this video, where, how, where I'll continue is, is uh, I'll be going over some problems from that activity. Okay, so if we look at problem three, so please uh, make sure you've already worked on the activity before before you watch any more of this video. Uh, so if we look at problem three, there are 11 bags on one side, and this is gonna get a little bit too tedious to draw. I'm just gonna write 11 bags on one side, and uh, where are we at? 25 loose coins. You know, coins that aren't in any bags uh, on that same side. And then four bags and 60 coins on the other. So four bags and 60 coins on the other. And so I can imagine taking off all the coins that are in common and, and there'd be 25 to remove and so we, we'd be left with with 35 coins just on the right side. And then there's some bags in common. I can I can take off four sets of bags, and we'd be left with seven bags just on the left. Seven bags on the left. And then we're in this kind of situation, like we were in this last example, where where you know we we only had bags on one side and coins on the other, and so we can imagine splitting up the weight. You know, one seventh of the weight on the left ought to weigh the same as one seventh of the weight on the right. And so that leaves us with with one bag and one seventh of thirty five coins is is five coins. And so each bag contains five coins. Let's also go through number number four. Number four says, uh, you know, we're looking at a balance beam again, and we've got five bags and 24 coins on one side, 
and how many coins? Uh, 51 coins on the other, alongside two bags. Okay, and so we can remove what's in common again, uh, taking away the 24 from both sides, and we're left with 27 coins, taking two bags that are in common from both sides away, and we're left with three bags on the left, and then dividing both sides by three, uh, we get that there's one bag on the left. By dividing the weights of both sides by three, we ought to get the same weight uh, left over, and we get one bag on the left and nine coins on the right. And so, uh, in problem five, uh, I, I ask you to, you know, imagine that your friend is going through this this problem. They have a bunch of coins and bags on on either side of a balance room, and they want to figure out how many coins are in each bag. Well, you know, what's a typical procedure? In, in both of these examples, uh, the first thing we did, the first thing we did was we subtracted it away, we removed from both sides what was in common. Uh, from both sides. And then the next thing we did, well, you know, in problem four, when we took away all that was in common, we were left with three bags on one side, 27 coins on the other. Uh, we, we divided the weight. Right? We divided out. We divided by the number of bags. Uh, from both sides. If I have three bags on one side and 27 on the other, then, then one bag ought to weigh the same as... Or if I have three bags on one side, 27 coins on the other, one bag ought to weigh the same as nine coins. That's, I mean, we can see that there's some division going on here. We're splitting up the weight. And then, actually, that's it for all of these examples. All we have to do is take away what's in common and then divide out by the number of bags from both sides. Okay. Um, so let's let's go through one more example using our ideas here. So so here, uh, let's do number six. We're looking at a balance beam again with uh, with thirteen bags on one side and eighty six loose coins on the other. Oh, sorry, sorry, eighty six loose coins on the same side. Uh, 20 bags on one side, and then 37 loose coins. Okay, so we can do some you know, taking away here. There's a bunch of bags in common, leaving behind 7 bags on the right. Take away 37 coins from both sides, and we're left with how many is that? Uh, we're left with 49 coins on the left. And so, uh, splitting up these coins across the seven bags really tells me that, that each bag, we're dividing both sides by, by that seven, is telling me that each single bag has seven coins. Okay, so there are two sort of funny problems also in this activity that I want to go over. Um, so let's look at problem seven. So here if we've got uh, a balance beam with ten bags on the left and six coins on the on the left as well. And then ten bags on the right with six coins on the right. Yeah. I still want to find out how many coins can can possibly be in each bag. But you notice something funny here is, is that the left side, uh, it's it's really just the same set of objects as as on the right. 
And so, you know, although we can we can play our game here and, and take away what's in common, um, you know, remove the six coins from both sides, uh, we would see that you know, you know, no matter how many numbers of coins of, or yeah, how many number of coins are in each bag, uh, ten bags is going to weigh the same as ten bags. I can have any number of coins in each bag, and and the left side will still weigh the same as the right. And so really, uh, there is. This feels a little funny, but there, there's infinitely many possibilities. Any number of coins in each bag uh, makes this balance. And then uh, the next problem is, is, is sort of digging into the other side of things. If, if I have uh, a balanced beam, it's just kind of fundamentally unbalanced, right? So if I have, uh, what do I got here? I have three bags and 16 coins, and then three bags and, and 18 coins. Uh, there's there's really no way that this will be balanced, right? I can take away uh, 16 coins from both sides, and I'm left with two coins on the left. And and if each of these bags are supposed to contain the same number of coins, well, three bags can't weigh the same as three bags and two coins. And so so really, there's no way. There's no way this is balanced if we're assuming every bag has the same number of coins. And that, that's, that's really uh, a big part of this picture here. So no way this is balanced. balanced. Doesn't matter how many coins are in each bag, this will, just, this will never be balanced. Okay, let's go through one last example. Uh, of one of the problems involving uh, fractions. So let's let's say we're looking at problem ten. So here, uh, let's say that there are, we're looking at a balance beam, and there are two and a half two and a half bags on the left side, and then on the other side we got. Uh, one bag and 33 coins. Okay, so there are a few ways that you can imagine doing this, and, and we can follow our approach. Uh, you know, let's remove the the one bag that's in common, and now we're just left with a bag and a half on the left and 33 coins on the right. And I've seen, I've given this problem a few times now, and, and there have been some clever approaches. I can imagine, you know, not not thinking about this in terms of full bags, but thinking about this in terms of half bags. How many half bags do I have? I have one half bag here, one half bag here, and then another one there. So I have three half bags. And so if I if I split up uh, both sides into you know one third of their weight, well then that would be that would leave us with one half bag and eleven coins. If I have three half bags on the left and one half bag, it's going to be one third of the weight on the left and, and one third of the weight on the right is, is eleven coins. And I'm not really interested in, in how much, how many coins are in half a bag. I'm interested in, in how many coins are in a full bag. And so I can, uh, I'm gonna write times two here. And and that will leave me with one full bag. 
and 22 coins. So the only way that this, this, this beam is balanced is if uh, each bag, when it's full, has 22 coins. Okay, so let's, let's stop the video here. Um, or maybe I'll, I'll, I'll say one thing is, is that, so you, know, you might have noticed this by now, but, but this is one of my favorite analogies for, for solving equations. So uh, what we did here looks a lot like what you would do for solving equations, um, and we'll talk about that more in the next video.